Hey, welcome back to English Lessons Within Lingua Vancouver. Once again, I'm Tash, and today we're going to talk about the present perfect and the past simple used for past experiences. So if you're talking about holidays, vacations, anything that you've experienced in the past, we can use the present perfect and the past simple sometimes together. But when to use which one? That's the question. So let's take a look. The present perfect, we would use the present perfect to give very general information, such as, I've seen lions. It's just a general fact. There's no time, no date, no place. I haven't given you any specific detail. Just, I've seen lions, sometime, somewhere. We also use it for plural events, if something has happened more than once. For example, I've been to Paris four times. Four times, plural. One, two, three, four. So we use the present perfect, okay? because it's a plural event in the past. Let's look at the past simple. We're going to use the past simple to give more information, more detail. Let's look, I've seen lions, this big general sentence. And now I'm going to use the past simple to add some detail to that first sentence. I saw lions in Kenya, the country. That's where, that's detail. I saw lions last year, that's when, that's detail. So where, when, who you were with, what you did, things like that, we need to use the past simple to add the information, the detail. Okay, let's take a look at the present perfect for superlatives. I hope you remember what superlatives are. If not, you can check out the video, comparatives and superlatives. But a superlative is basically the best, number one, the winner of some category. So if we're talking about holidays, for example, the best vacation you've taken, we would use the present perfect for the superlative experience. The best trip I've ever taken, oh, number one. The tallest building I've ever seen, okay? It was the tallest, it was number one in the category of tall. And then we use the present perfect for the superlative. You can see here I put ever in blue. Ever is a word that we use to mean in my life. So, the best trip I've ever taken in my life. Best trip I've taken in my life. It's just a shorter, more efficient way of saying all of the time. So up here on my left, um, I've got a couple of questions for you to answer so you can practice with the present perfect and the past simple for past experiences. I would like you to tell me a little bit about a holiday. What's the best trip you've taken superlatives. Uh, where did you go? Past simple for specific detail. Okay, so if you write me a few sentences, you can leave your comments down below and we'll get back to you. Subscribe to our channel for more English lessons and I hope you enjoyed yourself. I hope it was the best video you've ever seen.